السلام عليكم طلاب المرحلة الثالثة كلية طب جامعة ميسان معكم دكتور حيدر سعد القاسم كونسلتنت فيزيشن وي كونتينيو ان اور سيريز اوف انفكشوس ديزيز ليكشرز اند توداي ويل توك اباوت ديزرال ليشمانياسيس اور وات وي كولد كالا ازار تو ستارت ويز وات از ذا ديزرال ليشمانياسيس ثيولوجي It is caused by protozoal disease, Leishmania donovani complex, compromising Leishmania donovani in phantom and Shagazi. Uh, this is the parasitic infection, mode of transmission in addition to sandy fly, as you see in the picture, transmission of visceral leishmaniasis has also been reported to follow blood transfusion and disease can present unexpectedly in immunocompromised patient. This is a world map, and as you notice, number of new cases of visceral leishmaniasis reporting. This is the last reported 2016 by WHO, and dark color more than 1,000 incidence rate per 100, uh, 100,000 population. And uh, you notice this is a disease mainly in uh, South America, in uh, Asia, and even in, in India. In India, clinical feature of the disease, visceral leishmaniasis is a predominantly disease of small children, infant, except in adult with HIV infection. An in incubation period it takes weeks to months. The first sign of infection is fever, usually accompanied by rigor and chills. Fever decreases over time, and the patient becomes a febrile. This is followed by relapse of fever often to a lesser extent. There is organomegaly, severe megaly at the top of the list, quickly in the first week, and become massive as the disease progress. Moderate hepatomegaly also occur. Lymphadenopathy is seen in the majority of patients in African, Mediterranean area, and South America, but is rare in the Indian lymphadenopathy. Uh, the blackish discoloration of the skin, from which the name is uh, taken, Kalazar, it means dark skin or black skin is a feature of advanced disease and now rarely seen because of early detection and the treatment is available. Pancytopenia is a common feature. Whenever we say pancytopenia, which means low hemoglobin, low ITBC, and low platelet. Moderate to severe anemia, develop rapidly, can result in heart failure. Usually it is high cardiac output, heart failure because of chronic anemia. In advanced disease, hypoalbuminemia may manifest as oedema, ascites, and even anasarca. Anasarca, uh, uh, oedema involving all the body. Still in the clinical feature, as the disease advance, there is profound immunosuppression and secondary bacterial infection, which is common as cause of death. This include TB, pneumonia, severe amoebic dysentery, GI uh, T infection, herpes zoster, and even chicken pox. Skin infection, boils, cellulitis, and scabies are common without adequate treatment. Most patients will die. Investigation. Investigation span cytomia is the most common feature. Polyclonal hypergamoglobinemia, chiefly IgG. Demonstration of amastigoid Leishman Donovan body in siblinic smear is the most efficient means of diagnosis with 98% sensitivity, PCR for DNA detection and species identification, zero diagnosis by ELISA, uh, which is commonly used for diagnosis of uh, uh, Calazar, while sibilinic biopsy is rarely used in clinical practice. Usually we, we uh, use bone marrow aspiration and biopsy, and we can see uh, Donovan body on bone marrow aspirate. As you know, serenic biopsy, it is a blind procedure, can cause bleeding. It is difficult to be done. Serological test now replace the invasive procedure, and even uh, it is less costly than PCR on DNA detection, and it is uh, cheaper than the other investigations. This is Leishmania donovani amastigoid and bone marrow biopsy specimen from patient with visceral leishmaniasis. These are the Leishman Donovan body, these are the small one. So this is diagnostic of the disease. 
An endemic region like India, South America, high sensitivity and specificity direct agglutination test, which is called immunochromatographic K39 cyclic test, which is part of the antigen of the parasite, have become popular. These tests remain positive for several months. So positive tests in asymptomatic patient doesn't mean there's a need treatment and usually in symptomatic patient, but the tests continue to be positive even after treatment. So it is essential for the diagnosis of symptomatic patient, but not the follow-up. What about the management of uh, visceral leishmaniasis? Antimony, pentivalent antimony, which is sodium uh, stevogluconate, SB, traditionally is the drug of choice. Uh, the dose is uh, usually 20 mg per day. Uh, 20 mg per kg per day, giving either IV or intramuscular for about four weeks to one one month, 30 days. Side effect of pantymony, uh, as you know, it is uh, cardiac toxicity. It's cardiac toxic drugs, so it can uh, raise, uh, 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 it can cause T wave inversion and reduce amplitude, and sometimes can cause prolonged QT interval more than 0.5. Uh, uh, millisecond and this can cause arrhythmia and even death. Hepatic toxicity also noticed by this medication can cause uh, elevation in transaminase, even can cause arthralgia and pancreatitis. But the most important side effect of bentimony is cardiac complication. So those patients on bentimony need frequent assessment for acuity. And the easy way for assessment of acuity is by ECG. As, as you know, the automated ECG, we can calculate, or even this uh, machine, calculate the QT for you and give you an idea about any prolongation in QT, QT interval. The incidence of cardiac cyst and death can be very high with improperly uh, manufactured treatment. New drug merge because the disease is old and the treatment also is old. So emergence of resistance is common. As you know, the disease is endemic in uh, South America and India. So new treatment modalities with amphotericin B, which is more costly than uh, bentamony. The antifungal amphotericin B given once daily or in alternative day, a dose of 0.5 to 1 milligram per kg for 15 to 20 dose is used as first line drug in many regions, a significant level of uh, uh, resistance to pentimony. It has cure rate of about 100%. In fusion related side effects, usually fever, rigor, thrombophlebitis, diarrhea, vomiting, and are extremely, very, are extremely common. Serious adverse effects, whenever you give amphotericin B, the most important and serious adverse effect is hypokalemia. So patient on amphotericin B, as you know, the drugs uh, given by intravenous infusion, so you should assess potassium level daily because hypokalemia can be fatal. Ambisome, it is approved by FDA. What is ambisome? Uh, it is uh, liposomal amphotericin uh, B. It is pigilated amphotericin B. They added a uh, lipid layer to the drugs, so it become more rapid uh, penetration to the soft tissue, more duration of action, and less side effect. The dose is five uh, up to seven point five per kg. Lipid formulation are well tolerated, thus reducing hospital stay. Ambisome has been made available at preferential low price, as you know, uh, the disease affecting uh, the globing countries low budget countries, so it is difficult to use these drugs. But nowadays, the company for this uh, manufacture of the drug can make, make it cheaper. Other drugs are uh, multisphosine. Uh, multisphosine is not uh, widely used nowadays because it's a teratogenic drug, cannot be used in pregnancy. Baramomycin, which is a minor glycoside derivative, can be used also. Bentamidine, IZ thionate, was also used to treat uh, refractory cases of pentimony. However, declining efficacy and serious side effects, so these are not commonly used drugs. 
what is how you assess response to treatment? Good response to treatment result in disappearance of fever, feeling of general well-being, decrease in sibilinic size, weight gain, recovery of blood count. These are parameters of good response to treatment. Patients should be followed regularly for a period of six to eight to uh, 12 months as a small minority may experience relapse of the disease during this period respective to the treatment regime. What about the treatment in HIV patient? HIV induce immunocompression uh, at high risk for contacting visceral leishmaniasis, about 1,000 times more than general population. Highly active antiretroviral therapy, which is heart, has led to a remarkable decline in the incidence of visceral leishmaniasis contraction in Europe. So patients with HIV on heart treatment having less, less incidence of getting visceral leishmaniasis. The clinical trial of fever, sibinomegaly, hepatomegaly, is found in fewer than half of patients with CD count below 50. Visceral leishmaniasis may present with GIT involvement, stomach duodenum colon, ascites, pleural or pericardial fusion, and even involvement of the lung, tonsil, or oral mucosa. Diagnostic principle remain the same as those of non-HIV. Sometimes amastigoid are found in unusual sites such as bronchial lavage, the pleural fluid, or biopsy of the GI tract. Serological tests use single, singly have low sensitivity because those patients have low immunity. Neurocomromised patients do not debate on serological tests. So DNA detection by B PCR of the blood is the diagnostic tool. Treatment. Conventional amphotericin B may be more effective in achieving initial cure than uh, bentamidine or antimony using high dose ambisome, high cure rate. So, ambisome can be considered as a drug of choice, which is uh, convention, uh, beglated uh, amphotericin B for a prevention of relapse maintenance. Uh, liposomal amphotericin B ambisome is essential. What about post calazar dermal leishmaniasis? Actually, this is a dermatological problem after treatment and appearance of recovery from visceral leishmaniasis. Some patients develop dermatological manifestation of local parasitic infection. In, in Iraq, we called it we called it Baghdad boil. Clinical feature and dermatological uh, changes occur a small minority of patients six months up to three years after the getting the visceral leishmaniasis. These are appear as a macule, papule, nodule, most frequently, and plague, which have a predilection to the face, especially uh, around the chin, especially around the chin. The face often appear erythematous. Spontaneous healing occur in about three quarters of the faces within one year. The problem with healing is scarring, permanent scarring and disfiguration. Investigation usually these. Uh, Dermal leishmaniasis can be diagnosed by slit skin smear and culture. In the majority of patients, serological test or K39 slit test are positive. Treatment in NDA, uh, bentimony for 20, uh, 120 days or several courses of ambotricin B are required. In Sudan, two month course of antimony is considered adequate. In the absence of physical handicap, most patients are reluctant to complete the treatment. post calazar dermal leishmaniasis patients are, are human reservoir and focal outbreak have been linked to patients with PKDL PK in area, areas previously free of. So those patients uh, getting the infection and migrant to another area, they can be considered as a source of uh, infection. Uh, before that, some dermatologists use intralesional bentimony. Uh, it is a clinical trial. They consider it as effective for local treatment of skin. Prevention control of visceral leishmaniasis is based on two major approach. Vector control, sandy fly, to decrease the sandy fly bite among human and management of affected human and animals to decrease the uh, infection reservoir. By this we end our second lecture and I hope you enjoy the lecture and I am ready to answer any question. Thank you very much.